God is the one who gets it done. In fact, the entire message of this book is God-centered. He is the primary mover of events, the plagues in chapters one and two, the call to lament in chapter two, verse 12, along with chapter one, verses five, eight, 11, and 13, the instructions to return in chapter two, verses 12 and 13, the restoration in chapter two, verses 18 through 27, and chapter three, verses one and 18 to 21, the gifts of the Spirit, chapter 2, verses 28 and 29, and verse 32. The assurance of his final victory in chapter 3, verses 1 through 17 and verse 21. The Lord is the one who is acting in this world to accomplish his purposes. He is the one who is in control of physical and spiritual realities. He sends forth as we see in chapter two, verse 11, the Lord thunders at the head of his army and he withdraws as seen in chapter two, verse 20, I will drive the Northern army far from you. He does it both as an act of judgment and as a reminder that he is the one who is in control. Nothing is beyond his reach. All of creation is responsible to him and to him alone. The Lord directs everything to accomplish his purposes.